Nikki. Welcome back to Ranting with Ricardo. And we're going to be doing a Flora Bama Shore Season 4 Episode 7 Recap Review. My thoughts, my feelings. And girl, I was live tweeting as I was watching the show live. Because I had to, you know, do the little 24-hour pass on MTV so I could watch it live. Because, you know, I'm not going to hook the cable up in my bedroom. That's doing too much. It really is. And then I have to go in my bedroom to watch it. Nah. I'm good. It's doing too much. Anyway. Child, let's get into it. Um, Bethany left this episode. This was the episode where Gus brought his raggedy ass back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was the episode where Gus brought his raggedy ass back. That's what happened. And I can honestly say I don't I don't I don't care. Um Bethany left, but before she left, um, her and just played a little tricky trick on Kodai, okay? They told him that they wanted to have a menage a trois, okay? They wanted a scene out of trois that Kenya was in. Miss Kenya was in trois, if y'all haven't seen it. Ooh, girl. Y'all gotta go watch that. And, you know, just a trick, but he, you know, he got up there being Magic non Mike and stripping and doing all, twerking and doing all the best Kodai stuff that he do. Now, um, moving on to the fuckery and bullshit of it all. Gus brought his raggedy ass back and, you know, in the confessional, they have him changing to the clothes that he's going to be coming in to the house with. And as he's changing, he's like, this is so invasive and I don't want to be in the house with uh, people who don't like me. Well, bitch, take your ass home to that shed in the woods, Okay. Because we don't want you here. I'm telling you, he ruined a good time. Couldn't be me. I couldn't I couldn't be on a show with somebody like that. Like, it's giving me very much, like I said in my last review slash recap, it's giving me very much Jersey Shore seasons four and five. And if you know, then you know. And you know how much we wanted to beat the fuck. Like, we really was sick of that person during that time. Good job. The other two roommates kind of ruined the first three seasons for us, okay? But it's giving me very much Jersey Shore for seasons four and five. And, you know, he comes in and he's trying to muster up his little fake ass tears, them crocodile tears. That's not really doing it for nobody. I told y'all, I'm a, just going to be real short. And it's probably going to be mostly me going off on Gus. Because as he's trying to muster up his tears to apologize, he is also blaming people, his daddy, for abandoning him. And somebody said, and uh, his daddy for all the fucked up shit that he said that his father did. And somebody said on Twitter, Gus blame his father a lot. But it's sure as hell going to stick up for the cops because his father is one. They said, make that make sense. This is not coming from me. This is coming from the collective on Twitter. I was like, that makes sense. Um, He's blaming his father. He's blaming his abandonment issues. Um, He's kind of blaming Jeremiah again for the whole packing up the stuff before he even got back to Arizona and he just wished he was able to pack up his stuff himself and let me tell you something your stuff got packed up because of the stuff that you said about him and his family and the, the guy like the brothers that were in the house that you were living with at the time okay I gotta y'all like the video okay I gotta drink some water it's a lot just talking you said a lot of stuff off camera that rubbed that man the wrong way. Now, as I rewatched all first, second, and third seasons, and then rewatched season four up to the more recent episode, not this one that just aired, but episode six, it's the same thing. Gus blames everybody but himself for some of his issues. Now, most of us at our big ages and in our grown ages have realized that, you know what, we got issues. And maybe our families did screw us up a little bit or a lot. And what can we do to help ourselves? We take our asses to therapy because therapy works, honey. Now, I got to go back in there because I'm not doing well right now. And anger management might be in my future because 
people be really testing me however Gus could have been to therapy a long time ago and he's still upset at Jeremiah for the whole cold thing and he's like oh I'm just blowing up it's a lot going on right now still blaming Jeremiah for packing up his stuff and it's just like just admit that you took out all your anger and your frustrations from your father onto Jeremiah. You transferred all that energy onto him because, A, he's an easy target. And I'm not trying to make fun of Jeremiah, but Jeremiah is homeschooled. So most of the social cues and social skills that we would get by just going to school with other people other than our siblings and not being at home being at school, Jeremiah didn't get. So Gus realized and latched on to him because a jeremiah is kind of easy going b he's an easy target for a lot of stuff being made fun of being talked about all that he's a very easy target just based on how he was raised gus sees that and knows that and he also knows that jeremiah is not gonna fight him back First of all, why would Jeremiah fight you back? Bitch, you're not finna fuck up. Jeremiah is basically telling you you're not about to fuck up my check, okay? I like this little check. It's a cute little check. I like it. You're not about to fuck it up and have me put my hands on you. So basically, you can have your point proven about me. I don't know, like, other than you transferring all the hate and the negativity and all the energy that you have for your father onto Jeremiah... What else pisses you off about him? Because at the end of the episode, he is pissed off because Nelson and Jeremiah end up going on a walk. And the reason why they go on a walk it originally stems from Nelson's mom called her. And it was one of the things that just made me think about my dad. I, my dad passed away. My the beginning of my sophomore year in college and I never really got to talk to him and just like mend our relationship so that's something that still weighs heavy on me but Nilsa's mom called her and her mom's not doing okay and Nilsa's pregnant so she has all those hormones and she's still sad because her father passed away what just two months before y'all decided to come to Montana and film the show again so they're both not doing okay she's homesick she's pregnant she misses her niece and nephews. She misses her mom. She misses her father. She misses Gus 2.0. She misses all of them, and she's not doing okay. And Jeremiah, who lost his grandfather in the beach house, what was it, season two? He understands that, and he sees it, and they go on a walk, and they just talking. And their relationship is becoming, like, before our eyes, is like growing and becoming better than the one they had season one and i tweeted this and i was like you can see the growth in both nilsa and jeremiah from season one you can see the growth in them because first of all we love nilsa but from season one until now you can see how much she's grown up how much she's changed and you can see that she is really living in her grown woman and doing her grown woman itch and she's going to be a great mother. And we can see how much Jeremiah has changed because we couldn't fucking stand him season one. Okay, we couldn't stand him. We couldn't stand Kayla Joe and the, like, girl, you know that one, hi. But you can see how much he's changed. And then Gus feels some type of way because he's like, I don't see why everybody's buying into this fake persona of Jeremiah. I'm not seeing why y'all buying into it. He didn't even call anybody. He don't keep up with nobody. He doesn't stay in touch with anybody. Did you ever think that maybe Jeremiah, after losing his grandfather, after the breakup of y'all friendship, because he treated you like family, the breakup of that friendship, just everything that went on, you blasted him on Twitter not once but twice. Um the vma situation where it was just like oh the cast is supposed to be for like family and we thought we was gonna get an airbnb and be together but you know what jeremiah you can't stay here because we want to protect gus's feelings did you ever just maybe think about that situation as a whole and think that maybe he was like you know what after seeing myself on TV for three seasons and this vma situation and gus blasted me on Mariah Carey's internet 
and me just trying to be a better person and grow and try to learn from the world I don't really want to talk to nobody. I just want to be in my own bubble with my family. I want to grow. I want to change. I want to be, become a better person. I'm getting up there in my grown age. I'm trying to grow and be a better person. Did you ever think that maybe he did that? People can change, Gus. People can grow. You are not one of those people. You are still the same Gus from season one, just worse. And he feels some type of way about... Neil Sandra and Maya going on a walk and becoming friends. He basically called Kirk and Kodai fake as fuck because they're basically not drinking the Kool-Aid of Gus no more. They don't care that much about the fact that Jeremiah wasn't really calling nobody because why would they? Some, like, y'all gotta realize, some of these cast on reality TV, they're not really friends like that in real life. And some of them are, and some of them are like fucking family. And some people are not the type of people that's going to call you every single day, sit up on the phone with you every single day, be up in your face on FaceTime, just do everything for you and be on your nuts 24 hours, 365. That is not what people do. I'm not one of them people. I am glad that I have friends that are okay with me just being like hey how are you doing checking in because i'm not a person who's going to talk on the phone i'm also not a person who's going to be up their asses every single day 365 that's just not me i'm okay with being alone i'm okay laying on my couch and watching me some family guy which is playing right now and what's what i'm gonna do after this review so gus and his abandonment issues and whatever else he got going on feels like nobody should be able to be friends with jeremiah everybody should blame him and remember everything he did for like from for from i don't care from the four years they've known each other and that they should all be on gus's side and be drinking the kool-aid of gus and no one should like jeremiah and Jeremiah is this horrible person, and this and that. Oh my god, get off that man's nuts! Okay, he has not changed because in his whole like apology, he's like, I'm gonna change, I am going to grow, I'm going to become a better person. I don't like being this way. I'm going to try to change. And the whole time during the apology, you know, Jeremiah just looking like. And fuck out of here. Like, in his head, in his confessional, he like, fuck out of here. I don't believe none of what you're saying. And I was like, Jeremiah, I didn't like you the first three seasons. I started to like you closer to the end of the third season. But, you know, you kind of hurt me when you, like, played my girl Maddie out like she was a soybean burger bitch in these streets. But I like you, bitch, because we see, we see what's going on. He doesn't mean it. He does not care. He's never going to change. Unless he go and get him some help. Therapy is real. In your grown age. Use your money. And go get you some therapy. It does wonders. Child, he apologized to Nilsa. Or he so-called apologized. Really, his apology was blaming Nilsa for the breakup of his relationship with Lisa. And I don't know how many times I have to say this. That relationship was doomed from the start. Lisa was a college sophomore in a sorority who you said had separation anxiety and wanted her boyfriend with her at all times do you know how i know that's how college girls work besides the separation anxiety it's because i am one not because i have a boyfriend because i am a college girl and i have a lot of college friends who want their significant other with them okay not on national reality tv showing the fuck out walling the fuck out doing body shots off bitches having bitches do body shots off them flirting Judging twerking contests, bringing bitches over to the house to do pool parties. Okay, all that. Trying to blame Nilsa, talk about, oh, the rumors. The room. Y'all broke up in the house. We remember y'all breaking up in the house on the phone because Courtney had to threaten her. Talk about she gonna beat her ass if you keep calling because, bitch, you waking up. You fucking up my sleep, hoe. Like, y'all broke up in the house. Court, not Courtney. Lisa never heard those rumors until the show actually aired. So, to blame 
no sir for the break up of a relationship that was doomed from the start you got me fucked up like i said before i said it on twitter i said it in my last review slash recap he thought that coming into the montana house because they cannot go to the club that no said even though she wasn't a com she is in a committed relationship that she was going to be hunching on him he was going to be able to get her to hunch on him and he was going to be able to make her stray nilsa threw a monkey wrench in his plans when she announced that she was pregnant and all them plans that he had to convince nilsa to you know have a hunch fest went straight to hell like lil nas x on that poll in his video y'all go watch that video okay it's a good video and a good song it is that's why Gus mad and that's why the whole Lisa stuff came up because he wants to blame Nilsa and make her feel bad because basically she not finna hunch on him and she's in a happy committed relationship and she has everything that he wants and he feels like she shouldn't have it. Like I see Gus for who he is and y'all should too. Okay. Um, he apologized to Candace about stealing her blow dryer and Candace is a better person than me. Okay. okay. They all better people than me because I got a few choices. Ooh, couldn't be me so you know she accepts the apology tells him he needs to become a better thief i'm like you should mm -hmm. and you know they hug it out and i was like girl don't hug him i was yelling at the screen like don't hug him he is still your earrings and your motherfucking ponytail off your head don't hug him but you know what she hugged him they made up or whatever you know kodai being a little messy talking about the whole gus and Elsa situation and Amy is like, she's been through anger management. She's trying to get it together. She sees Gus for who he is. But we're going to oblige you for right now until you fuck up again. Um, Another thing is with Gus. You're a thief. You stole her blow dryer. Glad you got your own blow dryer. I really don't care that you ran away. Because if it was me... Like, Jeremiah and Nilsa are so much better than me. And so are Amy and Candace. Because they was trying to help find you by calling people and everything. They're so much better than me. I wouldn't have been out there looking for you. I would have let your ass freeze in the Montana streets while I was sitting by the fire with me a nice drink, okay? He would have froze to death fucking around with me. I don't like him. And for, like, I know Jeremiah and Nilsa are so much better than me. Because the way Gus has come at them and treated them this season... And past seasons and the off season, girl, could be me, okay? He would have froze fucking around with me. He would have froze, okay? Candace, so much better than me because after your motherfucking sister called and threatened Candace, even though Candace was like, you ain't gonna beat nobody ass, you would have caught these words from me about your sister. But that was whole review, recap, thoughts, feelings. You know, like I say, everything in this is in the description box below um gus get therapy if you ever see this therapy if you don't take nothing else from this video therapy is real go get you some and you know if you liked the video please like comment and subscribe if you didn't please like comment and subscribe i'm trying to grow my channel hello i'm here for you okay and again everything is in the description box below all my socials everything from my businesses all that i'll see y'all next time bye <laughs>